when he died, uh, I came to help with the funeral. And out in the workshop, his studio, as he called it, was just an old shed. Really. There was this amazing collection of work. Um, and the whole family was there. And I could see that people were saying, oh, I'd love that, oh, I'd love that, I'd love that. And I just felt that it was all about to just disseminate into the ether. So I decided that I'd grab all the stuff that had nothing to do with anything bar prehistory, because I lived in France for many years, amongst the, the painted cave area in France. And we visited lots of different cave sites, and luckily we had a friend who was a professor who also had a torch and a key to places that were not allowed to be going into. We used to go in there. And, and John started painting again, and I could see in this chaos of his workshop that there were a number of paintings which were, they held together as a, as a potential show. So I grabbed them and I took them back to Ireland on the excuse that we would have a show in my gallery in Ireland, which is very small, but everybody said yes, yes. And then it turned out that we couldn't really have a show in Ireland because nobody would come from Wales and John's centre was here in the end. He could see Ireland apparently on a very clear day, but he never really wanted to go back there. And so I decided to bring the show back and put it on somewhere locally. And this is where it is. And it's a very beautiful and cohesive show. And I hope everybody enjoys it. It's a fantastic story about the South of France, isn't it? Um, Cro Magnon Man and the cave where he was discovered. Yeah. Yes, I think. Yeah. I think I'll get around and see a bit more. There is a wonderful film. Werner Herzog, he's a German filmmaker and he was the only person that was allowed him to make a film and it's absolutely beautiful.
Mascara. Yeah, yeah. South of Mascara, the first empire. And he came to stay with it. He's got the colour as well, and he's got the darkness in it, he's got the mystery. That's what they great. Some of these paintings are wonderful pieces of work, I think. And he kind of moved back in time. I met the person I cast in the years ago, which is when it started. It's beautiful, kind of pieces, you know, unless it's not based on that sort of thing. A carved bone, yeah. Oh, no, So 
absolutely wonderful and it looks nothing like I've ever seen them before because I've never seen them all in one place before. So I'm amazed how lovely it is and I'm seeing things I never saw before. Yeah, and you? Yeah, it makes a change from the studio, which is... Uh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, yeah, I know, it's nice, and Keith's had a real eye for putting them in the right order. So there's Australian ones together, and French ones together, and I think... Yeah, and there's loads of people here, it's nice.